accused of breaking into a home in Santa Clara early this morning may have just met his match. Police say the man who lived there didn't back down when he came face to face with the suspect. KEZI 9 News reporter Now Win joins us live from that neighborhood to tell us what happened. Now. Renee, the couple living here at the this home on Cherry Avenue say they never thought anything like this could happen to them. They say they're so vigilant about locking their doors and their gates. In fact, officers who arrived on scene had to hop over this fence to get to the intruder. And they say it might not have been possible without the quick the couple's own quick thinking. Robin Taylor decided to take the day off work Wednesday to do a bit of cleaning. So I hear there's wrestling around after a rude awakening that morning. I thought my husband fell or something. And or something did fall. And I'm like, what's that noise? Because it wasn't her husband, Robert, following the ruckus. I got up and um, to see if he was okay. And, my, and he just said, call 911, grab the gun. Robin says Robert heard a noise himself that morning. Like, um, bang, um, one of our doors shut. Thinking it was her up early, he went to say good morning. But it wasn't her. The guy had busted open our door and standing um, next to our laundry room, and my husband just decked him, just totally decked him. Just minutes from leaving for work, Robert instead held 29-year-old Sean Hicks down until help arrived. I don't know. I, I'm tough. <laughs> but in that scary situation, I don't know what I would have done. Needless to say, Robin was grateful she had him there. My husband's a hero. My, oh, I have a badass husband. <laughs> I cannot believe that he was able to do that. And the cops had said too, usually homeowners will go the other way, not my husband. No, he was defending his home. So yeah, very proud of my husband. <laughs> Now, if you take a look at this door, it's actually made of metal. If you come a little bit closer, you might be able to see that it's actually bent in. And if you take a look right over here, you'll see that the door frame is actually coming off of the wall. Robin says this is all evidence that this intruder was set on coming inside her home, and she could not, again, be more grateful that her husband was there. Now, Sean Hicks was taken to the Lane County Jail and is facing burglary in the first degree. We didn't get the chance to talk with Robert this morning. He actually did go into work, but we did interview him tonight. And you can see what he has to say about all of this on KEZI 9 News at 11. Live in Eugene Nangwin, KEZI 9 News.